Ain't nothing like a smile when your prelude started right up. Oh, okay. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. It's been a while since I had a prelude video, man. It's about that time. About that time. So, in this video, I'm going to show you um, basically how to change out your alternator. Seems like a simple task for most of us, but you know, for you new prelude owners, um, nice little refresh on how to do it. So, stay tuned. All right, all right. If you're one of those impatient people, this is not going to be a straight to it type of video. So, if you want to get straight to how to actually switch out the alternator, uh, go to this timestamp right here. If you're not in a rush, stay tuned for the, you know what I'm saying, for the excitement, you feel me? But um, anyway, what I'm going to be doing today is actually, um, obviously you guys know, my you know my true subscribers know that the Prelude is uh, under the knife right now. Um, I still need to order a few parts before I actually get started on it, on the build of the motor. Um, so actually, uh, my, my buddy Tevin, he has a 93, or 92 or 93 Prelude that... Um, that he's uh, actually building so we're gonna go check an update on that those of you who have been subscribed you know I have a video probably it's been a while way back um, when we actually picked up his prelude so he he's done a lot to it since then um, and he just needs an alternator man so I'm just gonna let him borrow mine so I'm gonna show you guys how to take it off and then we're gonna head over to his house and basically show you how to put it back on alright so um, Changing out your alternator may be different depending on how stock you are. Obviously, um, I'll show you my bay. is really nothing in the way at all, which is good for the video. Um, so basically, for those of you who didn't know, uh, this is your alternator right here. Um, wait a minute. Focus. Focus. There we go. So this is your alternator right here. Um, basically, there's only about three or four steps that you really need to take. It should take you no, no more than like five, ten minutes, if that. Um, but basically what you're going to do is, um, there's a 10 millimeter plug behind this cap. Oh, first thing you want to do actually is disconnect your battery because it's too easy to make contact with the metal on here, on the alternator, or on other metal parts. So first thing you want to do is disconnect the battery for safety. Um, my battery's beyond dead, so I'm, I'm good to go. But um, there's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter nut right here. I'm gonna need to take that off, and this goes to the harness. Um, and then there's a plug. It's hard to see because I got all this turbo stuff in the way. Um, there's a plug right here. Um, you need to. There's two clips. Just push those clips in, pull that out. Um, and then what you're gonna do is there's actually like I said, it's, it's kind of tight space for me with the turbo stuff in the way. But down here you have another 10 millimeter. This is going to be your actual tensioner, um, so you want to loosen that up, and then here you have a uh, 14 millimeter. Um, this one is is tight, and then if you go underneath, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a 12 millimeter nut right here with a bolt on the other side. So once you take this off, take this off, um, the belt. This is your your belt's going to get loose. You can actually push the alternator down push it down once you have the uh, the uh, tensioner loose this bolt out and this bolt out you'll be able to push the alternator down swivel it down that'll loosen up the tension from the belt take the belt off and then usually you'll use like a uh, flathead or something um, to actually kinda wedge the alternator out so I'll show you more in detail when I'm installing it on his car but that's pretty much the process Oh man. <clears throat> the real question is what you gonna do with that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was thinking too when I was taking mine out, I forgot you had power steering. So what I was telling y'all earlier when I was taking mine out, you probably you may may or may not have to. I don't think we have to, but in some cases you may want to take the actual uh power steering pump off, which you don't have to worry about any of the fluid you just literally disconnect it but I don't think you have to but we're gonna find out uh, you know what I'm saying this side. so uh won't you uh walk them through what you've done since the last video all right well 
Work in progress. Okay, okay, zoom in. You know what I'm saying? Replace the headers. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, the old headers had a fat hole in the back side. Stock joints, right? Yeah, it had a big hole in there, so replace this in the down pipe. Okay, okay. So, you already had the uh the muffler on there. The exhaust. You already had an exhaust. Did a little bit of body work. Well, I did a lot of it. Oh you see the new you see the new battery. Alright. Well, started on the body work a lot of it. <laughs> yes sir, last time y'all saw this it was white. White. That holes in it. It was, it was pretty much uh it was banged up. Prime sanded. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hey, this thing ready for you? Is it ready for some flex soon? Is it ready for some flex soon? I got, the, I got the pearls, but I ain't gonna show. Got the weight. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you know what I'm saying? Go follow my man's channel, it's Tevin P T V. You know what I'm saying? He got content coming soon. Everything that was in between that last video and now, he got you. You know what I'm saying? So if you want some, some more Prelude content, once once I get mine up and running, his is running. Like I said, we just going to swap the alternator. But yeah, man, we're going to get it popping. So this is where he's at with it. But anyway, back to what y'all came here for. That alternator action. We're gonna get this thing swapped out. We're gonna show you. Yep, we're gonna show you how it's done. Alright, so like I showed you guys when I took my alternator off, you're gonna have, of course, disc make sure you disconnect the battery. Like I said, you don't want any accidents, so disconnect the battery for safety. So yeah, what you wanna do is like I said, you wanna loosen up this 10 mil right here. Um, don't lose that, you're gonna need that. So when you take it off, be careful that you don't drop it. You wanna take it off and put it right back on so that we can keep track of it. Thread that back on real quick. And then, like I said again, I'll we'll come over here to this plug, pull the rubber back, and you'll expose the green plug. And you just want to literally put your thumb down, pull, pull that out. Now the harness is out the way. So you just move this out the way for now. And then next step is, like I said, you have 14 mil on the opposite side. You have <clears throat> the 10 mil down here with the tensioner. And then there's a 12 millimeter. Like I said, uh, when I took mine off, mine didn't have a power steering pump or bracket in the way. It looks like uh, we're gonna have to take this off. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's only what two? There's only two bolts holding it in. So the way you would do this is uh, this bolt right here is the actual tensioner for the belt. So the first thing you're probably gonna want to do is loosen that up. That's a 10 millimeter. All right. So now that one's like pretty much all the way loose. Um, then you're gonna take your 12, and then you're gonna come on the other side and yeah, loosen this one right here. Take out this 12 right here, and like I said, doing it this way, you don't want to crack any of the lines like this. We're just literally taking the the pump from the bracket to give us more clearance. So you don't have you don't you're not gonna have to refill power steering fluid or anything like that. You're literally just taking the bolts out. And then this one here should be a 12 too. Like I said, once you take these, make sure you don't lose these these bolts. Hard to find. You have to go all the way to a junkyard to find them if you lose it. So take this out right here. So you got this one, uh, the one right here, and then the third one is right here, right underneath the belt. Just get you a little extension. Once you loosen it, you should be able to get the rest by hand. Alright. <laughs> so then basically literally the pump will slide right off. Uh just take the belt off the um pulley 
and then literally you can just kind of move this out the way like this and then you will come around to the front and then you'll actually have access easier access to the other bolts so this is the 14 I was telling you about and then the 12 is underneath but you, you see you have way more space to work with now and like I said all you did was take the power steering pump from the bracket still connected so just hold that to the side and then come in with the 14 it's been a while since I did this on a stock stock prelude so I had to refresh the memory a little bit the 12 is probably the trickiest one to get to just because of where it's at and the limited amount of clearance you have. All right, so once you get uh, the three bolts out, this 14, the 12, uh, you may or may not have to loosen up the actual tensioner right here. Um, usually you don't. Once you just take that bolt out, what you do is you actually push the alternator down like that, and then you'll be able to slide the belt off. You don't have to take it all the way off because we're gonna put it right back on the new alternator so you can kind of just let it hang to the side. And then like I showed y'all before when I took mine off, you literally get you a screwdriver and pry it out. And like I said, the bigger the screwdriver, the better because you might bend the little ones. Sometimes you can shake it up and down, but if it's been in there a long time, up, oh, or you can just hulk it like me, you know what I'm saying? It's strong. Be extra strong with it. Very strong. <laughs> and you just maneuver it out. Like I said, with all the components in here, just take your time. All right, so putting it, well, not new one, but we're putting um, my alternator in. And you basically just go in reverse order. Literally. Put everything back the way you had it. So reverse engineer it. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Um, if you can take it apart, you can put it back together. Like I said, just don't lose the bolts. So we'll, uh, I'll come back once we have everything put back together. All right, so we uh, went ahead and took care of everything. We tightened the throttle cable, took the slack out, we got the alternator in, and we went ahead and, and went all the way overboard, and we had we had uh, replaced the negative terminal. So we're gonna start it up and see what happens. Should be good to go now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing like a smile when your prelude started right up. Oh, okay. No hezzy. No hezzy. No hesitation. You know what I'm saying? How you feeling? The weight is off my shoulder. You know, I couldn't do that shit without you, bro. Know, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you feel like you, you you felt like the prelude curse was lingering for a second? Bro. I'm listen, let me tell you something. I'm the cure to the prelude curse. Hey! I'm the cure. You understand? <laughs> but yeah, man. Got the thing running. Um, we're gonna wrap it next, man. We're gonna wrap it and you're gonna have to find out more details on the channel so you know you're gonna have to start pumping out that content play. Oh, yeah. you know I got you. I so got again. You. This is the link to, uh, well, this is his YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description, too, so you can just click it and go right to it. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get him to 100 subscribers, man. 100 subscribers. Before you... Before they go, you gotta, they got to understand. If you don't know what you're doing, make sure you ask for help. Don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> nah, but, um, yeah, man, if you enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like button, share, and uh, you see that right there? Yeah, hit that right there. That's the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.